Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more Hearthstone. Today we're gonna check out the latest Tavern Brawl and I sneakily already checked it out last night and I made a Brawl deck that we can be messing around with. But anyways, it is going to be called It's Raining Mana and Dalaran floats overhead, it's soaking your deck with mana. On your first turn you get one like normal, but then you get three, then five, and then seven, etc. So what I've been, uh, what I created right here real quick yesterday while I was basically trying to fall asleep and I couldn't really because I was playing Hearthstone secretly, don't tell anyone. Uh, I, I decided to add in this uh, this Shaman deck right here, and this is basically uh, the mid-range Shaman totem type deck that I could create from memory. There's a couple mistakes in here that I now realize looking at this. It's the Ancestral Knowledge, that's a card that nobody plays ever, as far as I'm aware. Uh, so that one isn't supposed to be here, and I think we should be adding a second Sludge Belcher, but it doesn't really matter. What we're gonna do is try and unlock Sylvanas out of this beautiful pack of cards right here, which is undoubtedly gonna come in my position at some point. Um, and we're gonna kick Brawl and see what we get. Now, I haven't played with this deck yet, um, other than, you know, on the Constructed Ladder with a couple of changes that I just mentioned. I may I may have a couple more mistakes in there. Um, but it's been varying very well. I'm currently, like, rank 14, and, you know, being that the ladder we set, like, two days ago, pretty happy with the way that is going. But let's see who we are going to be up against. World-class Paste Eater? Did it say Pasta or Paste Eater? I don't know. Well, it's not worth your opponent, but... For Doomhammer. All right, wheel, wheel, wheel. Um, I don't think I want any of those. Although I could technically keep the Mana Tide Totem now that it's a turn two card. We could even keep Sludge Belcher now. It's basically a three mana card, right? Oh god, this is kind of weird actually. Your Mulligan changes up completely. All right, so basically we're gonna unlock some very early mana here, and uh, it's gonna be fascinating to see how this works. I'm kind of tempted to to coin out a Totem turn one. Nope, we're not gonna coin out a to- wait, how does this work then? If I coin out the totem golem right now, will it give me two mana next turn? I think it will. That's fine then, because then we can still just totem up. Yeah, so I've been playing this deck quite a lot on the on the Constructed Ladder now that the new season has started, and honestly it's been a blast. I've been playing it together with the Token Druid, um, and that that is also a very, very powerful composition. Obviously, or a combination, but I don't, I don't really know, I don't know if this is any good, obviously, in, uh, in this tavern brawl, but I can imagine it's pretty good. I can't imagine it not being good, so to say. Um, we could even rock by the weapon right here, but I think we're just gonna tilt them up. Considering, um, oh, we actually even get a mana right there. Or we even get a heal right there. Considering this is going to be a, um, a tavern brawl where we get a lot of mana real quick, I think I'm gonna have to focus a little bit on, on my totem as often as possible, because if I don't, I'm probably gonna be in trouble. Um, oh, the Flame Tongue Totem is great, actually. Yeah, well, we'll put down the Flame Tongue Totem in the middle of those two. Did bring some fish? I didn't bring any fish, no, but this is still pretty nice, though. <gasps> we got lucky. We got lucky, boys. Run that guy in. Hit him in the face. Sweet. Now we hope he doesn't have a... Oh my god, he's already at seven mana. This is really strange. I was gonna say, hoping that he doesn't have a brawl, but even then, it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, any of those can stay alive. If we would brawl right now, though, knowing my luck, the healing totem is gonna stay alive. But he's gonna go Death's Bite, take four damage to face. I'm not even mad. No, that's fine by me, sir. Kinda tempted to rock by the weapon here. I mean, why not? I don't obviously want to play too many minions either, but... Do we Earthshock? Am I running a second Earthshock? I think I got a second Earthshock in here, right? Uh... Alright, we're doing it. We're doing it. This may be a misplay. There we go. I don't really care too much. And... Question is, do we play Mana Tide here? He's gonna kill the Mana Tide immediately, so... I don't think we do. I'm just gonna hit him in the face. He must be playing some sort of control warrior or like a patron warrior, obviously, but patron warrior is something we can deal with with that lightning storm in hand. So I think we're good. Well, you know, ish. You can't really deal with a patron warrior ever, but actually the lightning storm is not ideal here. We need we need some more spell power first. But... Does Dingo? I don't really care. That's fine. That's fine. You're gonna you gonna attack your own minion? I I would I would I would go against it if I were you. If you attack your own minion, you're probably gonna end up losing the game. 
I think he's gonna go for the flame tongue totem. Flame tongue totem is something he really cannot deal with. Yeah. Gonna do some one damage AoEs. Do a little bit of damage to himself. Back to work. And he's actually got a cruel task master. Wow, he's running a legit deck as well. We are both not not really we're both not really amazing here. Okay, nine mana already. Although the fire elemental here is pretty nice. Kind of tempted to fire elemental lightning storm, honestly. I don't know if that's a good move. But I really like the idea of getting the board cleared. Other option would be Sludge Belcher Hero Power. Which isn't gonna achieve a whole lot. But there are so many targets though to, to fire on. Oh my god, we're doing it. This may be a misplay. This may be a misplay here, guys. Maybe it's a little greedy by me. I don't think he's running Patron though. Because if he was running Patron, he probably would have already played it. That's sad, he still has 21 cards in deck, right? So it's hard to say. I think I'm gonna have to nuke him down. Like, to pretty low health, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, to beat it if he is gonna go to the late game, which we are already sort of at, now that we're at 10 mana. Hmm. Yeah, we're never gonna mill though. I mean, I it's both, no like, we have, we have way too much stuff. Oh god, don't execute or anything. No, not execute! Double shield slam. Double shield slam? That seems a little much. That seems a little much, actually. Um. I mean... Considering I get the, the, that totem right there, I can just get Sludge Belcher here. That's fine, if he kills it, we can still kill uh, Sylvanas next turn as well. Although we are losing a little bit of the board presence right now. Obviously, I still have Dr. Boom, who can always, you know, he can always be good. There's never there's never a deck, I don't think, that's bad with Dr. Boom. Behold the might of Stormwind! Oh, that's a little unfortunate. A Silver Wind champion, wow. Hmm. That's actually a massive creature, obviously. Well, let's give me some card draw. This card actually works quite well right now. We are, we are, we are, Dr. Balanced. Okay, so I think we're gonna silence her and then play Dr. Boom. You guys got your evil laughs ready to go? <laughs> no, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm awful. Alright, and we're just gonna hit damage to the face. Here we go. Congratulations, Mr. Pult, opening up that awful legendary right there. It's all right there against Face Hunter, I suppose, but. I can take the hit. Oh sure. Just get another massive creature. But that's fine, we got bombs here. We got bombs to go. Okay, who are you gonna attack, sir? Are you gonna attack Dr. Boom here and waste two minions on it? I wouldn't even be upset, not gonna lie. Am I running a second lightning storm? I don't know if I am. Oh, you're gonna attack the bomb. That's fine by me as well. I mean, I, I wouldn't be complaining. Oh, you're just gonna face. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what we get. Give me some more card draw. Pilot to Treader. Mm, not too worried about that one. Here's what we do. We'll play that guy. Hold on, actually. I need to probably kill... I, I probably need to kill that first. There we go. And then we'll, we're gonna start playing some of the bombs. There we go. Get the bombs going, boys. To the face. Oh, snap. Not really quite what I was looking for here, but... Oh, four? No, that's not a four. That doesn't even look like one. So he's gonna be able to clean that minion up. But that's fine, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll actually play the Mana Tide Totem here, because he can't kill it. He'll stay alive for at least two turns, I would imagine. And we got Lothap, nice. Lothap is very useful. Actually, I don't think the original deck that I've been laddering with um, runs Lothap, now I think about it. It's kind of funny because pretty much every single deck runs Do Lothap and Dr. Boom, right? Let the pain speak to me. Okay. So he's gonna armor up. And I guess he's gonna clean both of the minions. 
Unless he likes the spell power. Nope, he doesn't like the spell power. <clears throat> Lotep is obviously a five mana or a five mana creature here. We can also just double pilot the Treader, considering there's nothing he can really do about it. Let's see. Oh. Well, that's pretty good. Double pilot to Shredder and another card. We actually get a Hex here. In case he's running a, like a, a Varian Rin or if he's running a um, Thrall? Thrall? Is the guy called Thrall? No, Gromash? Gromash. There we go. Thrall is obviously the Shaman in the game. It would be weird if he's running that. He's running the Shaman. That, that'd be scary. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting uh, order he's doing things in. Kind of tempted to just... just Kill the shield maiden with a hex, but <laughs> I know that's not the best move. Still kind of tempted. You have, sir. You can play it right now? Oh. Ooh. Well, that changes some stuff. Does it? <clears throat> I mean, it, it means that I can kill that thing. I actually mispositioned my minions here a little bit. Didn't think about the flame tongue. Um, I am gonna play Lothep here no matter what. I want to clear up that thing, obviously. I guess we'll just sacrifice the healing totem. Who cares about healing totems? We're not gonna have lethal anytime soon, that's for sure, with 31 health. Ooh, we actually get a uh, Mistress of Pain there. That's pretty good as well. Well, you think he has Brawl? Do you think that's what he was considering? No, he was only at 2 mana when he was considering that. Do you think he's running Brawl? If he's running Brawl, we're in trouble. No, we're not gonna play it. Let's be smart. Let's be smart cookies and first see if he actually is running Brawl. I mean, he would still, like, it would still be 10 mana, right, for a Brawl, so he would still play it. I mean, if, if he doesn't play Brawl here, he doesn't have it. That's, that's at the very least true. Okay, he didn't have it. Another Azur Drake. We're getting a ton of value, by the way, out of this thing. I'm just gonna hex it. I'm just gonna hex it. I don't care. I'm ready for it. Oh no, not like that. Oh, I don't have mana, obviously. I think we're good. I think we're good. Another hex. Great. Oh man, we got a powerful board. I don't think he's running Brawl, guys. I mean, oh well, he doesn't have it in hand at the very least. I don't think he would have to decide very long here to play it. Well, the Death's Bite is not gonna change very much here with a healing totem out. It's kind of annoying for you, actually. Alright, so he's finally getting rid of that uh, mana tide. But that, that, played, that paid for itself, like 10 times over. <laughs> Just gonna hit you in the face, sir. And actually, we get a... Uh, we actually get a totem here as well. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess this deck does quite well as well in the tavern brawl. No, you can't do that, sir. That's a totem. <laughs> My sincere apologies. I mean, the healing totem is just gonna put everything back to life, right? It's a fun little tavern brawl, though. Even though, even though it doesn't make that big of a difference, or like it's not that massive of a change. Obviously, if it would be in the Constructed or the Arena match, it would be a massive change, but as it is right now, it's not, like, huge. Is he running any Executes? Did he Execute anything already? No, he double Shield Slammed earlier. Is that an Execute? Well, that's that's not gonna do anything, sir. You're at 4 health. I got a Fire Elemental. Fire Elemental pretty useful here. And I don't think um, he's going to be able to kill me with one card. He's really considering it. He's trying his very hardest here. What? <laughs> what's he? What's he even trying to decide here? Whether or not he's going to die painfully and slowly, or whether or not he's going to just, you know, take his death gracefully. All right, a gruel taskmaster. Ouch. He's going to armor up here, and I have lethal with the minions on the board. But since we can. I mean, I'll, I'll just do it like this, okay? We, we look extra pretty. 10 out of 10 would be M again. 
I never BM, but still, that was fun. All right, guys. It is time to open up that one card right now to make sure that we get, um, you know, something useful out of it. And there we go. We got one pack. We got bone pack. Do I have 100 gold as well? No, I got 90 gold right now, so I won't be able to do that. Uh, but here we go. Sylvanas, you're mine. With my recent luck in opening card packs, there's a big chance there is. Oh, yes, we got some dust. Love myself some dust. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tavern brawl. I definitely did. I'm gonna be rattling or lettering up a little bit more on the constructed letter. You can expect more Hearthstone videos very soon. Probably gonna start uploading them again early next week. So if you're interested in that, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below the like button in the video. Or actually, is it down below the like button? I think it's actually above the like button. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, subscribe down below. And I wanna thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.